Okay, what's up? Welcome. This is Days Off 2, and I'm starting this right after I got out of work. Literally, I just walked out. I'm sitting in the parking lot. I decided to turn the phone on and go ahead and get my first part of my video blog, vlog, whatever, for this Days Off. Now, what am I about to do? I am going to go buy Mario Party 10 because Mario Party is awesome, but there's a story that goes with this. Walmart made my three-year-old cry. And it really pissed me off. So I am going to go over to Walmart and I'm going to wander their aisles and I'm going to tell you the story in their store while I wait for the game. found the quietest section I could to do this. Now, remember what I said. I am here to pick up Mario Party 10. Walmart, no joke, made my three-year-old cry. Now, for those of you that are just kind of finding this, that are just starting to find my videos or something like that, and don't quite know, that's my daughter. Adorable, right? Three, adorable. Yeah, here she is again. Okay, let me go into my little story. I'm at Walmart, I'm buying some stuff. And all of a sudden, I come across this idea. I can't remember what. I was there to get like some food and some other quick items and whatnot and go home and all of a sudden I'm like, you know, I kind of want to kind of want to check something and I ended up going back and looking at the movies and I ended up buying Power Rangers for my little girl and on our way out I happened to glance that Mario 10 was right there. Now this is like a Monday and I was like, what? So I grab it. I walk out and I go like uh, like Gwen is excited. My little girl is like, Daddy, that's Mario walking game for your TV. Because to her, that's what it is. Because she plays Mario Party 5 on her GameCube all the time. She loves that game. So now I've got, I've got the game. I go up to the counter. I buy a peach because that's what she wanted. She wanted a peach too. So I put the game down and I put the peach. And I'm like, I got to get it. I got to get it. And she's like, yeah, we pay for it, Daddy. And I was like, yeah, we do. So I pay for it, and the woman rings it up, beep, beep. And then she's like, ooh, I can't sell this to you. And I was like, what? Why? And she says, well, evidently it doesn't go on sale till Friday. And I'm like, but you have, like, an entire wall of copies literally sitting there out in the open. I, I brought it up to you just now. It's right there for people to take. And she was like, yeah, but we're not actually allowed to sell it. It's more of a display until Friday. So now my little girl thinks that we're going home with a new Mario, but we're not. We're not going home with Mario because Walmart fucking put it on their shelves a week too early. And she didn't understand, and I couldn't explain it to her. She's a three-year-old little girl. She didn't understand that even though we'd done everything right, because we go to Toys R Us and things like that, and sometimes when she wants a toy, and I'm like, we can't get that right now. We have to leave, and then she, you know, she pouts a little bit, but we walk out the door. But when she knows that she can get it, when she's like, please, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, we have to stop at the register, and we have to pay for it, and after we pay for it, it's yours. But this time... 
we did everything right. We picked up the toy, we gave it to her, we walked to the register, she put it up there, we paid for it, and still, we don't get it. And I had to, and, and she cried. She cried on my shoulder on the way out while I kept trying to tell her, I'm sorry, baby, we just, we can't have it. Well, now I'm here to pick it up. And the only reason I'm here is because I want the Amiibo and I want the special pack and I'm not going to be able to get it at GameStop tomorrow because more than likely all of them are already pre-sold. So I'm here to buy it and I wish, in a way I wish I wasn't, but it's going to make my daughter amazingly happy in the morning. So really this is, this is bullshit though. It makes me mad. It makes me, it makes me really fucking irritated. Do not put your shit out early. I held my girl in my arms as she cried because we did everything right and she still didn't get her stuff. She still didn't get Mario. So I had to leave the store without Mario. Because Walmart fucked up. That's hard to explain to your three-year-old because they really don't understand. When I get the game, I'll show you what it looks like and everything. And we'll move on to some happier discussion, but this I had to get off my chest. This really pissed me off. All right, it's the next day. I'm awake, got my shower, got my stuff taken care of, and of course last night I did get the game. Now because of the way Nintendo is, all I'm gonna do here is a little bit of an unboxing, which isn't even that big of a thing to be fair because this isn't like a collector's edition if anybody's under that mistaken impression it's not a it's not a collector's edition it's more just like a combo pack it comes with one of the new 2.0 amiibos 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 and it also came because i went to walmart one of the reasons i went was the exclusive gold mario so, let's do it. Now, like I said, <clears throat> sorry, I'm not going to go into showing game footage or anything like that because Nintendo's been really stupid about that and they've been shutting channels down and everything. So here we go. See some box here. I like the side there. I think that's neat. Okay. And empty. Here we go. That's our Mario. I will, of course, be taking him out of here because they put a little metal thing under these guys so you can't use them unless you unbox them. But that's just the way it is. And then, of course, I have my game here. This is going to be sweet. I'm really looking forward to this game, but let's get him open. We could add him to the Amiibos, the Amiibo, these things. See, this is what I was talking about right here, and you've probably heard other people complain about it. There's a tiny piece of metal here. It's like a piece of sheet. Like, I don't know if it's an aluminum foil or what, but it stops the pad from scanning them, or the tablet or whatever. So when you try to use the game pad and you try to scan these in, if you haven't taken them out, they're not going to work. Now the base is a little bit different, you'll notice, where on all of the guys that are designed for Smash, their bases look like the Smash symbol, which, <coughs> I'm sorry about all this coughing, one of the things that's interesting about it is that these are working for other games so I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on with the new launch and I don't know if there's going to be extra stuff that's going to be added that these ones will do more things or will there now be an entire line of amiibos that only work for like Mario Party and an entire line of amiibos because I would heard they were going to re-release Marth because they have the Fire Emblem game that's coming up, right? And I guess my concern here is that it scares me to think that there will be every other game have a set of Amiibos that you can buy with the game like that. 
That is some money stuff, man. That is some scary money stuff. Now, the Mario is pretty basic, really. His, I don't know if this is just going to be for the limited edition guys or what. Their little base like this. But there's him. He's all gold. And, man. Talk about a way to get us to spend money. This is... It is the exact same figure. They painted the base a little different and spray painted the guy gold and resell him. And there you go. But what did we expect? I mean, let's be honest here. What did we expect? We didn't expect anything other than that. So there's two new Amiibos to add to the group here. And I have to say, call me a sucker, but... I love the Amiibos. I love them. And I'm still going to go out and I'm still going to get more. I think that I think that these things are moving in the right direction. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they utilize these things in other ways too. Like, my mind goes to things like Disney Infinity and Skylanders. Like, these are neat. And they are doing some things for video games. But let's be honest... Using them as an extra player in Smash? Mm -hmm. Thanks. But what I do like is that they carry a type of downloadable content also. Like such as Link and Zelda, when you use them in Hyrule Warriors, they unlock specific weapons and things like that for their characters, and that's kind of cool. I like that idea. Like the first time I used her, she ended up with this... Uh, Radiant Rapier, and then first time I used him, he got that top thing, that is the, the big weird top that he stands on, which I think that a cooler way to have done this would have been like you use him, and then you get Epona, because that's an actual piece of downloadable content from their e-store, so or eShop, sorry. So that would have been cool if that would have unlocked actual downloadable content from the games. And that would interest me a lot more. I I don't I don't hate on it. I, I really truly don't, but I'm hoping that my friend is wrong. Because I was talking to my friend Shane last night and he says none of these are gonna work for Mario Party. There's going to be a whole new set of 2.0s that work for Mario Party. And then that made me be like, great. And then there's going to be 3.0s for the Fire Emblem. And then there's going to be 4.0s for another game. And 5.0s for another game. And they're just going to continually re-release Mario and re-release Zelda. And then there's going to be uh, a friggin' Punch-Out! Wii U or something. And they're going to re-release him as like a 6.0. And then with the new collection, they're going to release a set of, like, her and a couple other things. You know, it's, like, it worries me, because we got the Zelda game coming out. And, like, are the Zelda game, is the Zelda game going to work with the figures that I already have from my Zelda stuff? Or is it just going to screw me and be like, uh, here's some 7.0 Amiibos. So I don't know. I really don't, but all of it aside, I'm really excited to be able to play this game. And of course, I'll come back on here and I'll talk about it. And that's all I'll be able to do is really talk about it because you and I both know how Nintendo's playing lately. And if I post game footage of this, chances are they're going to pull my video. So I'm not... I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to play around with that. I'm just going to come in and talk about this game later on. But I'm excited to play this. So uh, that's what I'm going to do for a while. Okay, at the end of my night for the next day of my days off vlog. And usually before I go to sleep, I come into the kitchen and I usually have a juice or something like that and relax and take a couple notes or whatever I'm going to do. But... Tonight I figured I would talk a little bit about the Mario Party game because, of course, I did go and get it and um, tell you some of what I think about it. It's different. 
but not different in a bad way necessarily. You don't pick the amount of turns that you're going to take. You pick the amount of time that everyone's allowed. Like, this is going to be a half an hour game. If it exceeds a half an hour, the game is over. Now, as you play and you do the rolls where, you know, you, you jump and you bow, let's go to that part first. You're all in a vehicle, and the vehicle goes around the board. And though I only tried, I only tried a couple of things, but the board that I was on was pretty straightforward. You went around this way, and by the time you made it to the end, there was a mini boss and a boss battle. So it's kind of like a Super Mario World feeling, but since you're all in the same vehicle, when you, like, when you jump and hit it, you're going to go a certain amount of spaces, and then the next person is going to pick up where you left off. So there's a whole new strategy about trying to screw people over when it comes to the stars, because you no longer collect giant stars, you collect mini stars. And by the end of the game, my first game, I had like 56 stars. Now the way this works... There are areas on the board that give you stars, mini games, of course, and then there is points where you can lose stars. Now, what you want to do is hit the areas where you can gain stars and, of course, screw them into hitting the areas where they're going to lose stars. The other part is Bowser. Now, I haven't played the Bowser game yet, but I'm going to tomorrow morning. All I played was the Mario Party, and I played a little bit with the uh, Amiibo functions. The Amiibo functions, I went and I got three Amiibos. I got the Gold Mario, which I already showed you, the Normal Mario, which came with the game, and then I went and I got a Princess Peach, because my little girl, we were there to pick up Sheik, and I paid to have Sheik delivered to me, and as I was doing that, she was like, Daddy Peach, and I was like, Okay, so we got Peach. Now, uh, the gamepad, as you're playing Mario Party, Bowser's in like this cage, so there's all these bars, and then each one of the bars would have a dice, so there's like, bam, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I roll a, if I roll a four, it blacks out the four, so this part right here goes bam, and it goes away. And if you, if by the last person to roll the last number releases Bowser, and then he throws a bunch of Bowser tokens on the board, and then you can get, it's just like the last five turns of the old one. He'll cause the game to do crazy things, everything from screwing you to making people get double points to who knows what. Bowser is only released, however, like I said, if uh, you roll one, two, three, four, five, and six, so you might roll six or seven fives, and the last thing anybody's scared to get is that three. There's that three right there, and if somebody rolls it, they're letting him out, and then, then from that point on, the game gets even more crazy. There's a whole lot of mini games that everybody play that are on the board, like events, where like you're on like rides or trains or you're going swimming or something like that and you gotta jump or dive or speed up or slow down to try to make sure you get more stars than the other people. I like it. So far I like it. I think it's a really good game. I think it's very, very different. Even now, now to be fair, I did not play the one on my last experience with Mario Party was the GameCube. So it's been a while, but it's just, it's very different. To me, it's very different. And I think it's very different even as far as, even as far as the Wii is concerned. I think the Wii was still collecting stars and things like that. I don't think it was, don't think it worked like this. That's the end of my juice, and this is the end of my night. So tomorrow, I'm going to Osaka's, which is going to be really cool. It's a hibachi grill. It's one of those big flat grills, and they got the guy that comes out, and he makes your food right there in front of you and cuts it up and talks to you, and like, 
makes jokes and builds like volcanoes out of the onion mounds and then causes big fire and everybody's like, ooh, and he juggles the eggs and catches them in his hat or like, it's, it's just one of those places. It's really cool. If I could film it, I would, but of course they're not going to let me do that. But we're going to go there tomorrow. Me, the guys, my girlfriend, I think some of my family too. So that should be cool. But I just thought I'd tell you what I thought about this Mario Kart. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Another day here. Uh, I went to my deal, my eating deal, and it was really good. I enjoyed the lunch special. But for anybody that's seen my room tour, this never changes. There's my little girl here with me today. I am in the process of tearing all this apart and rearranging this and making sure that all that is exactly how it's supposed to be and I moved these because if you remember right they were over by my door never ends man you get more stuff or you lose stuff which in this case that's actually what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of boxes that don't serve a purpose anymore like up here one box that is gone is the Injustice Collector set because we had an accident and where I had it over here you remember it was on top of these and something knocked this shelf back and then it fell onto the ground like BAM and it was broken and since then it's just been something I'm wanting to do so that's what I'm doing and then I've got my Power Rangers Lost Galaxy playing Gwen is coming in and out of the room watching it so I'm just letting it run but that's probably what today is I'm gonna play some more Mario Kart but for the most part it's a rearranging day. All right, my last thing to say here to close off Days Off 2 is I went back to reading manga, which I often do. I jump back and forth here and there. Sometimes I'll read a lot of manga. Sometimes I'm reading a lot of books. But right now I'm back in a manga phase, and I picked up the first six books of Roroni Kenshin. Now, i seen the show, but now that I'm reading the book, I honestly think that the book is superior. Quite a bit, actually. Like, like way superior. It just seems that the pacing is done better, and the explanation and character design is a little... I don't know if I should say it's more driven than it is in the show. Like, the show was more trying to focus on a lot of the action. But, hey, that's just the way I see it. Now, the next thing is my daughter loved Mario Party. We've played the Bowser one and everything else like that. Now, now the Bowser Party is pretty cool because Bowser, like, one guy uses the, uh, the game pad. And Bowser chases you down and he cheats. He cheats all the time, like, he'll roll and not be able to catch up to you, and then, like, the sun will come in, J uh, Bowser Jr. will come in, and he'll be like, Hey, Daddy, well, you can't catch him like that. We should re-roll, and then he just gets, like, another turn for no reason. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on with him, but I'll leave you to figure it out. Now... There's also the Amiibo Party. Now, the Amiibo Party is not something I'm liking, or, how do I put it, it plays more like the old Mario parties where you're collecting stars, but at the same time, it, it's, it, it, it's awkward, like, you have to use the game pad to play, and you have to use the amiibo, so instead of just hitting A to roll the dice, you have to scan the amiibo, and then the amiibo will roll the dice. And I really hate this. In order to use a move, you scan the amiibo. In order to roll the dice, you scan the amiibo. In order to hit the block above your head, you scan the amiibo. Like, what it comes down to is either everybody has to sit in a circle around the pad while watching the TV, or you have to pass the game tablet thing around the room while everybody's holding their amiibo so they can be like, boop, boop, boop and then pass it to the next guy. It's irritating. It's not well designed. They should have thought that out. All you should have to do is scan like one time, like bloop, and then you should be able to hit the buttons after that and play normal. But they didn't do that, so I feel like that's a big mistake. Now, 
if I have to complain about something, here's what I'm going to complain about. There are a good amount of mini games, decent, and there are a good amount of modes to play because there's the Amiibo Party, the Bowser Party, the Mario Party, a mini game free for all thing, and a type of weird little mini game um, game show where you collect coins, which is kind of cool. So, when all is said and done, the game is done really well, but it has a lack of maps, and I'm not too happy about that. I wish there were more maps than what we get, but there's not much I can do about it. Really, that's all this weekend was, guys. I didn't do too much, but I figured I would come on here and keep the days off thing, my vlog going, so I'll catch you guys on my next day off.